Bless is particular because it goes through transformation. It's not something fixed. It's it starts off as cardboard. It has form. Then it starts to melt and it becomes just uh, trash or wet, soggy, unusable. And I think he kind of his body moves and in a sort of empathetic response to the decay that happens. So he actually goes in a kind of two-dimensional movement in the beginning, almost moving like cardboard in a kind of flat way. And then as it goes, he has a sort of softer, groovy guy, sort of uh, kind of almost hippie personality where he's sort of breathing with and trying to make the most out of the situation. And at the end, he's just trying to survive and how uh, catastrophe also brings out a kind of monstrosity and it brings out our animal instincts. And it So he's following the path of the very clear, logical, decaying death path of the material. Um, but I think this thing of material is, is a combination of energy and it's not passive. And it, I mean, it's not something just to use, that it has its own life and it presence and aura and it's not just something that we can use it's not about just using things it's about the dialogue or correspondence with things I think I've always been really, um, it's very important to work with rupture, but also to stretch time beyond its comfort zone, that things linger, that, that by sustaining um, time out of everyday quotidian time, that things kind of stretch and that they extend, you go beyond the first impression or first reading, and then you have to kind of sit with it and you see things differently, even though um, things aren't changing. So definitely in this piece also then there's rain involved and blessed and there's a moment where, you know, there's literal moment often that it stops people's movement. So it was important that there was only the choreography, the movement, the physicality of the rain and not the dance, because that's something, a kind of collective phenomenon we all know. Um, but I guess my work is getting faster, it's getting more layered, and it was nice to return to a piece like that where it's only one image at a time, one event at a time. Like the singularity was also kind of uh, refreshing to remember and reconnect to.